What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna teach you guys on how to box squat, like the basic mechanics on why we do the box squat and why it's important. And it is important because I think people, they lack the confidence in the squat and they get kind of scared at the bottom of the hole. But with doing the box squat, you actually build up a lot of tension. You learn how to come down a lot slower than you would. You don't dive bomb because if you dive bomb on the box, you're gonna fucking hurt yourself. But it's also important because you learn to keep your core tight and you learn to bring down maximum weight and even sometimes more weight than you can normally do and explode out of the bottom of the hole. And it's important to build a lot of speed, explosion. You see a lot of conjugate guys, which we'll do on another episode, doing this type of movement. And you see those guys are pretty much some of the strongest guys on the planet. The reason I like to box squat is because when I first started out squatting, I had a lot of knee injuries that prevented me from squatting. So even my first powerlift for me, I just competed in bench and deadlift. Over time, I started building up the strength in my legs. And one of those things was because I started doing a lot of box squats and that built the confidence in me. So you see me working up to a heavy single right here. And it felt amazing today, honestly. I think my explosion and strength has pretty much gone through the roof. So I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and I want to show you guys the different variations on how to box squat because some of you guys I know watch this video while you guys are working out and learn with me which is a very smart technique and I highly recommend it because I am the messiah as they say. So getting into the different variations obviously you have the regular box squat. The low box squat. The high box squat. The low, low box squat, aka the floor squat. The no box squat, aka the squat. The box, box squat which is actually a very difficult movement to do and I highly don't recommend even ever trying it unless you're an advanced lifter like me. If you guys don't train at Barber Brigade or like some other type of powerlifting type gym, you guys might not have access to this type of equipment. So what you guys can do is like grab other substitute equipments to imitate a box squat, like the bench. A cardboard box. A toilet. I might need a few minutes. Or even the human box squat. A lot of people, they tell me when they actually try to perform the box squat that they can't feel where to explode out of. One of my tips is to put like a little thumbtack at the bottom of the box. So when you, right when you feel that pressure going up your bum, you explode the fuck out of there. Cause that shit hurts, you know? And I hope you guys like these tips. If you guys have any more questions or suggestions on what I should do, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them in the next episode. Cool, that's it? Mm -hmm. All right guys, hope you guys like that bro tip. If you guys wanna see more bro tips, you go ahead and click this link right here where I teach you guys on how to front squat. If you wanna click this link right here, it'll take you to Bart's workout, but I don't know why you would even watch that.
Are you gonna fucking cut the clip?